Well, welcome everybody. Smithy here, and welcome to a tutorial. A tutorial on how to download and install Jurassic Craft, and uh, we're going to show you how to install two different versions. As you can see behind me, we have got the latest pre release with the gorgeous Pachycephalosaurus and some other new dinos as well. Uh, it's not totally stable, so I do warn you before we start. And uh, I am not using this version at the moment, but I wanted to show you uh, this particular latest version with the Pachycephalosaurus because they are gorgeous. Uh, and I will go through this video is all about how to install it how it's compatible with some mods and some not mods and you have to test it and just to help uh, my viewers out really more than anything else who have asked go on tell us how to install mods mods folder uh, Jurassic craft uh, and where to find it you can see the Metrocanthosaurus at the back there as well or is it Metrocanthosaurus yeah the beautiful Metrocanthosaurus at the back here as well uh, now you might notice, as we shall see now, that this has not installed all the dinosaurs everywhere in the world. Now, word of warning, when you first install uh, Jurassic Raft, uh, if you don't touch it and you just install it, you will install about 2 million dinosaurs. Uh, let me just show you about that and how to make sure you leave it uh, like this, which it's, it doesn't automatically spawn in. So let's go and show you some of the settings. So on the front screen, when you first install, that also I'm having a few trouble with the mouse on this particular 1.8 version, but you can see it's Minecraft 1.88, uh, the latest pre-release version 5 it is, and you can see that I'm using Forge. Uh, 1.881591 version that's critical that you have to have forge 1.88 uh, and I'm going to go into that and, and what you need uh, and what you don't yeah there is a new forge available I haven't tested it with the 1655 and I will uh, you can test it out yourself but here goes we'll show you so when you first join up and you see the mouse is having a bit of a funny click the mods folder and in the mods folder you will my mouse is not moving but I will be able to go and uh, click and what you're looking to click is a Jurassic craft uh, on the left hand side yes yeah, so you want to press the Jurassic craft 2.2 pre-release you click it and it gives you the config button uh, and when you go down you'll see the config click on the config button and it comes up now if you have all three true which is the green you will I will show you what happens you'll get hundreds and thousands of uh, Jurassic craft dinosaurs at the moment uh, but we have left it I've put it on false for mob spawn naturally and also false on other mob spawn naturally that stops you having uh, all the mob spawning so we're going to go back into the world now I'm going to reset this and show you and then go back into the world so you can see now we have set all three to true uh, what I have to do is uh, click the done button and when you click the done button it says you have to restart so restart your minecraft so when I've created the world, I first created it without the mass spawning. So wherever the center of the world is that you've created before, it stays the same. As you go to the edge of the known world that I created, this is what happens. Uh, or if you create the brand new world with the mod as it's previously installed, you get way too many dinosaurs and it really, really hits your frame rates. As I said to you, this is this, uh, Jurassic Craft 1.88 is in its infancy and they are working on it and there's going to be a new 1.89 coming through but it's quite interesting to see because the mobs have got some wonderful animations uh, the flying creatures don't fly but they sort of walk around and this is the uh, Theosaurus uh, they are beautiful but uh, I don't, the only trouble is it creates thousands and maybe your computer won't handle that so if you leave it as I said before if you change it to a, uh, to uh, false settings then you won't get that and you will get a nice world which is empty and you can spawn your own dinos in uh, or do it in survival right let's go and show you a few things about the mods folder and the different versions of Jurassic Craft so let's head out of here 
So, where do we get the mods folder? Well, the easy way to do that is go to the Windows Start button, and I'm using Windows 7 here, but you can go a different way on Windows 8, but you go and find the Start button, and you need to find the Run button, and that depends on your Windows. So, if you look over here, I have got the Run button here. If you haven't got the Run button, you have to right-click the menu, go to Properties, go to Customize, and then go scroll down, and you will see the Run button somewhere here. Where is it now? Beyond run R for run usually it's unticked when you first install Windows but you can tick it in the menus very similar in Windows 8 as well so once you got OK we will go and uh, press OK we'll go and click the run button a little window comes up and you want to press percentage app data percentage or percentage app data once you click that that will find you dot Minecraft folder uh, and let's go and have a look at this so the dot minecraft folder shows up at the top open it up and i'll show you something about that now this is uh, modded minecraft as well as normal i have got a number of mod folders you will see i've got a mods folder i've got a mods folder for a server i've got a mods folder for the Jurassic craft pre-release 2 i've got a mods folder for the Jurassic craft pre-release 3 those two are 1.8 and i'll show you this one i've got star wars one i've got vertigo hd's uh, his server uh, so I have renamed them. Now the one mods folder that works in Minecraft is the mods like this. It's lowercase M-O-D-S. Now in this folder I will show you. I have got Jurassic Craft 2, pre-release 5, jar, and I've got this LLB file, library file, which I'm using 0.621.88. There is a new one out now, but I haven't tested it, so I'm just going to tell you what works for me. Now that is it. So you noticed I didn't have any shaders that I normally use. I didn't have any too many items, not enough items, didn't have any world edit or anything in there. That's because I, I tried a few mods and it didn't actually work, so we're waiting for it to work. So that is the latest Jurassic Craft 5 and the LRB file. So where do we go and find that? Let's go and head over there and find that. Right, okay, so if you put Jurassic Craft 2 in, it will come up with a few hits. There is the MinecraftCurseForge.com projects, and there is the PlanetMinecraft.com page. There's also a Minecraft, a Minecraft Forum.net, which is a different version. If you go to the PlanetMinecraft.com page, this is where they will respond to uh, different uh, views, etc., etc., and uh, there's installation instructions here about the 1.7.10 one, you need the library 0.62. If you've got the 1.88, which we're concentrating on now, you need the library for 1.888. I will not download from here, I'll show you an easier place to download. So come, that really gives you loads of information though, uh, there. So let's go to uh, the Cursed Forge one here and click on the top one. Uh, I will put this link in the description for you guys and girls. Uh, right, so let's look at it. Uh, that's the 1.710 one in red, be wary with that. Down here you've got the pre-release 5 and you've got the Jurassic Craft uh, 1.45 which is 1.710. Now bear in mind, uh, even though we haven't got the 1.8, there's this line here that needs to go because 1.8 didn't need the library but uh, 1.8 8 does need the library. If you want the libraries, just go and click this one here and it takes you directly to the library forum. It's not clear, it needs a bit of a labeling. Go to the downloads. Now you can download the 1.710 library there, look, and the 1.88 library. But bearing in mind, I've not tested that one, so you may need the 0.62. You can go and click all downloads for that. So if we go to all downloads, because that will show you the whole lot. Uh, be very careful because this will wait wait it will come there you go look at this here are all the different libraries for the different versions of minecraft so you can see that that's one of the favorites 16,000 uh, that was a 7.2 version in fact there's older ones here see so that's probably your best one there's the 6.2 version but that's 1.8 there's the 6.2 version for 1.10 7.10 so bear in mind that you have to make sure you get the right one uh, and all you do is download it. Once you download it, if we download, say, the 1.8, we'll go back to page 1, uh, and I will go down and download the latest 1.88, which is that 7.2 one. So let's go in. There it is, 1.6, 1.6, there you go, 1.62 for 1.88. So I just click on that, and then it will go to this little page, and then, yeah, I've got the, this, and it will say, do you wish to download? So you just save it. 
uh, and, and go to your downloads folder to look at that. We're not going there yet. So let's come back out of this one uh, and come out the library uh, and go back to this. I'm going to download the pre-release five. So it's just a place of clicking the button. Uh, now you take into this page. Be very wary. Uh, you press that button here to download the uh, 1.88 one. That one's 1.710. It's the red button that stayed the same. Uh, but 1.88 you just click that download button and there you can see the pre-release 5 jar you save it and I'll have hundreds of them in there because I keep <laughs> downloading them right so what I'm going to do now is we're going to take you back to my mods folders to show you the different versions and, and what works and what doesn't work so we're back here on my dot minecraft folder that we use the percentage app data percentage uh, let's have a look at some of the folders. Now that one is the 1.88 one. So I just opened that. There you go. There's my pre-release 5 and there's the 0 0.62 1.88 which I use. So that's all I've got in. Before you put any mods into this folder at all, you should not do that. You should try Jurassic Craft, make sure it works, make sure you got it set up. Then you add mods one by one. So let's go and show you another folder. Now, I'm not going to use this anymore because we've just shown it. So I'm now going to rename that mods folder. I'm going to call it uh, at 1.8 pre 5. I'm going to put it in lowercase actually. 1.8 1, 1. 1 pre 5 because I know that's the very latest version. Once I've renamed that folder, no mods will work. That mods is staying there to save, it won't work. Right. The one I use for my video is this one. Uh, this is a 1.8 pre-release 2, this is 1.8 pre-release 3. Now when I open this folder, you will see uh, I've got all the mods I'm using on my videos. Uh, I have got the 1.8 Jurassic Craft pre-release there, which was released, that says it was released in October, it's a bit released a bit later than that. Uh, and I'll tell you how to find that in a minute, because that is available on my Planet Minecraft uh, dot com page and people have been asking me where can I get the 1.8 version so there you go you will notice I have got all these mods there's my mini map is there Ross mini map 1.73 for forge 1 1.8 uh, I've got world edit for forge 1 1.8 uh, I've got too many items for forge 1 1.8 I've got the shaders mod for 1.8 mr. crayfish's furniture mod 1.8 there's me Jurassic I've got damage indicators that tells me about dinosaurs and how much damage they got and I've got custom NPCs I've also got tr tree capacit capacitator, capacitator as well which came with this B-Speak Core Universal 7.10 now they, all these mods work together apart from the world well world edit I can't guarantee it working but uh, if you download my mods folder from planet minecraft you will get all these in that one folder so if you want all these mods uh, you can try them out bear in mind they might not work with your system because some pcs I found I've got three pcs and some of these mods work with one pc and it's well, both windows 7 but then they won't work with others now the shaders mod you have to go to the shaders mod page because the shaders mod will will not work without the shader packs and this video is not all about how to install that you install basically the shaders mod which is drag and drop into this folder then you download the shader packs and install them into your uh, shader pack folder Mr. Finch, the furniture mod was drop and drop and use damage indicators was just drop in NPCs was just a drop in now you notice there's no uh, library file for 1.8 Minecraft uh, Jurassic Craft there isn't so so that's the folder so if you want that folder with all these in there that all work together uh, go to my Planet Minecraft page which I put a link in the description you can literally download the whole folder now it should say it probably says something like that now I want to go back to my Minecraft world I'm going to rename that mods and that's it so I now know that mods uh, folder is the one that's the mods folder that Minecraft will select this one here was the older pre-release uh, which came out uh, and you can see that uh, I didn't have all the other stuff in there but there you go I just keep making mods folders my Star Wars mod folder that's got a lot of stuff in there but it's not got the Jurassic Craft in see so I just recopy and paste Vertigo HD I'm not going to show you that uh, r shaders packs here uh, I've got the shaders mod in and as you know you have to download all these different shaders packs 
The shader pack that uh, I have got is this one, which is Chocopic 13 version 5 Lite. Uh, I've, I've got an i7 core processor, right? So uh, it's seven, co eight cores, and it's got I've got a 280x graphic card or a 797. These are really powerful machine, and some of these shaders really take a hit on the machine. So bear in mind that you might get about three frames per second on some of these shaders. The famous Zeus 10.1 standard, or whatever. So you just need those as well. The other thing people are asking, the resource pack. I'm using Faithful 64, Faithful 64 pack. I'm also using Faithful 32 pack 1.8. Again, if you search on YouTube, uh, search, you search on Chrome, you can find the Faithful pack. And I've got some other ones like the famous John Smith. Uh, and I've got a Star Wars Battle of Hoth resource pack as well. So all good fun and you can play with those. Uh, so that's really it. So what I'm going to now do is I'm going to head out and uh, show you the mods folder for uh, the video that uh, the video the videos that I produce at the moment to show you the things that have in there so we're going to head over there to finish up now of course we're back in our Isla Nublar uh, 1.8 uh, Minecraft Jurassic Craft and we're on Isla Nublar but you can see I've got the shaders mod on I've got all sorts I've got the uh, tree capacitor mod which is absolutely superb if you've never seen that before we'll just go down here and get rid of a tree for you uh, but you will see that hey, let me get rid of that actually let's just do that now you hit one of the tree trunks and the whole lot goes find another tree there we go which is brilliant this tree capacitor I do like it you just hit one off it goes so these mods I love this is my uh, Spinosaurus enclosure uh, again it's 1.8 and we've got these lovely uh, textures on the uh, mods folder. Now I say if you want the 1.8 version which I use with all the mods, uh, go and click the link in the description. If you want the one newest 1.88 uh, Jurassic Craft which uh, has the new Pachycephalosaurus which this mod doesn't, then you go and click the link for the direct link for Jurassic Craft. So hopefully that's all right. You, the one thing I do say with the mods folder is you really have to just load Jurassic Craft first uh, and then add the mods uh, one by one. If you suddenly add loads of mods and it doesn't work, it means that it's not compatible with that version of Forge uh, or that version of uh, Jurassic Craft. And uh, yeah, here we go. There's another pen here that we've got. We'll go down and see those. But it is well worth it spending some time on your mods folder and having a number of different mods folders set up depending on your uh, preferences. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed that short video. It is designed specifically for Jurassic Craft and uh, the mod and where to install it. Uh, and I hope you find that uh, beneficial. I say I've done separate videos on how to install the Forge and depending on what version of Jurassic Craft you will need the different types of Forge. Right, thank you very much indeed for watching. Bye-bye. See you next time.